A few months ago, I coined a proposal. The proposal was aimed at showcasing the need for an AI officer in an organization. It was well received by the organization, so I hope they will use it to further their institutional goals as it relates to AI. In the rapid evolving landscape of artificial intelligence, AI, educational institutions increasingly recognize the need for dedicated AI leadership. Let me say that this leadership is important if institutions are to be ready for the future. I want to say that AI leadership can provide valuable insight, and I want to highlight why educational institutions should appoint an AI officer, and I want to ensure that you understand it is needed now rather than later. Let me see that the first thing you have to look at is a strategic vision of AI in the institution. Just like many other institutions, we have to define what the AI strategy is and how it's going to align with your institutional goals. So therefore, an AI officer will integrate the AI strategies that you have within the educational objectives, of course. The role is crucial for leveraging AI to enhance teaching methodologies, personalized learning experiences, and to optimize administrative processes. And of course, this vision is going to be a collective one. Now, we have to understand that the AI officer should be given the role to enhance educational outcomes to some extent, because you can't hold the person just solely responsible for all educational outcomes. So within this context, an AI officer in an educational setting should, of course, identify and implement AI-driven solutions that will improve students' engagement, learning outcomes, and, of course, streamline administrative tasks where necessary. This is all about fostering innovative educational practices. When you look at an organization, you have to understand that every organization has its own unique context. And I think this is important. So therefore, the AI office, of course, will find solutions that will be customized to suit that institution. You have to use predictive analytics from students to ensure that you have the right pathway for them. So therefore, the AI officer will understand the context and implement research-based tools to enhance the overall experiences of everyone in the community. The AI officer should be able to be a thought leader. You know, when you think about a thought leader in education, you have to understand that this role within the context of the AI officer will promote the adoption of AI across the departments, fostering a culture of innovation and tech savviness, much needed in contemporary education. This individual should be able to be a good communicator, should be able to network, and should be able to motivate individuals towards higher heights as it relates to artificial intelligence. The AI officer must have a passion, and this passion should be one that drives governance and ethical use of AI. Drawing on their resources and their knowledge of ethics and governance, the AI officer should understand that educational institutions need to ensure ethics is used as it relates to AI. This includes managing students' data responsibly, ensuring privacy, and addressing ethical concerns as it relates to AI in education. And they should understand the humanity as it relates to AI. In other words, they should understand that AI is not about replacing employees, but enhancing them to ensure that they are productive and they can enhance the learning and teaching process. Now, when we think about AI over the next 10 or so years, there's going to be a need for ongoing training. I want to see that the AI officer should understand what is staff development and of course faculty development if it's in a higher education institution. An AI officer, of course, would be a key in driving continuous learning about AI among educators, students, and of course, ensuring that they themselves are kept up to date by researching and attending conferences to get the best information possible. Another thing we have to look at is the ability of the AI officer to communicate. The AI officer must be able to represent the institution, just like any other position in the university or institution at a level that requires communication. They must be able to talk and communicate and articulate the necessary tenants of what's needed in the institution. So when they are representing the institution, they are able to demonstrate their knowledge of AI. 
So many times we see people taking our responsibilities and when we ask them a basic question regarding their content, they are unable to provide a basic answer. We need to move away from that and, of course, ensure that the officer who we appoint for AI is educationally sound, is technologically sound, and is pedagogically sound and understand the issues necessary to advocate for good practice as it relates to AI. And when this is done, they will showcase the institution in a positive light and articulate the initiatives of the institution in a good manner, thus engaging greater community involvement and activity. You know, it's so important when you have someone that can articulate on a subject matter and be able to push it to another level. Now, one thing we have to understand, the AI officer cannot stand alone. AI officer must understand what it means to leverage good partnership for innovation. AI officers cannot be in silos in institutions, but they have to find themselves in a network because globally we have to work together to ensure that AI is going to be used to benefit humanity. Now, many individuals have gone away from using the word inclusive practice, but I can't run away from it because an AI officer must have inclusive AI practices. There's no going around with it because AI is a powerful tool that can create problems in our society. It can, of course, delimit individuals in our society and cause individuals not to have equal opportunity based on how it is set up. So drawing on the paradigm of inclusive practice, we must understand that an AI officer must be approachable. The AI officer should understand the solutions that are provided are inclusive, equitable, and accessible to all students regardless of their background, thereby addressing the diversity and, of course, inclusion through technology. When recruiting an AI officer, you must recruit one that understands the alignment of AI with technology as it relates to your institution. Education institutions must understand that an AI officer will be there to integrate AI initiatives in the overall teaching strategies of the institution. So therefore, there's going to be an alignment. Let us say that the AI officer in education should be a position in the institution that is a leader. And the role, of course, would be to attract the top talents as it relates to various individuals needing to work and, of course, building the reputation of the university through recruitment and retention. Let me say that all the tenants that I've mentioned are important because if you are truly about artificial intelligence, you need an officer who can articulate the concepts, who understands the alignment, who understands inclusive AI practices, understands leveraging partnerships and innovation, understands and is able to represent the institution at any level and understand what AI training is required for organizations to move forward. Let me conclude by saying AI is going to be a core component of education institutions. Hence, there's a need for AI officers to ensure that AI is intertwined into the fabric of educational strategies and operations within the institution. I want to say, if you want to know more, drop me a line. We'll have a conversation. Thanks, and please share this with other institutions because I think it's important for every institution to have the AI officer. And I'm saying the Caribbean people too. This one is for you. Get ready because I think it's so important to have that individual who is going to drive innovation through artificial intelligence. That's all for now.